das ging, das ging beinahe in die Hose. Weil ich glaube, dass sie das gleich einstellen hier. Glaube ich auch. Das hast du gesehen, der die Zügel doch meiner Meinung nach berührt, ne? Das sah so aus, ja. Ich habe nämlich geguckt, hier mit, da war das ganz dicht. ご覧いただいているのは事故の瞬間の映像ですね、午前6時48分、あ機体が左側に傾いてご覧のように炎上という、これが事故瞬間の映像です、今日午前6時50分頃ですけれども、ご覧のように滑走路から離脱し、船体が左側に傾いてそのまま燃え出した、炎上ということなんですが。成田Oh, wow, he's running out of runway here. He's got about another 500 yards before he reaches the end of this runway here. So he's got the reverse thrusters on. He is bringing it to a quick slow uh, stop here, though, towards the end. That's an incredible job by those pilots. a little strange.
calmly taking pictures of airplanes taking off and focused in on this single-engine four-seat beach bonanza. But I realized something was wrong when it used up two-thirds of the runway without leaving the ground. There was a sigh of relief when it finally got airborne, but it became clear this was no routine takeoff. The wings began to wobble. Then it flopped on its belly. Oh, no. It appears the propeller dug into the ground, flipping the plane on its top. Discovery Encyclopedia presents Top 10 Most Dangerous Aircraft Crashes Okay, fire engine is now coming by. He's out. And it all happened very safely. The uh, F-111 attached to a cable that was... Uh, single-seat FA-18 Hornet traps, the arresting cable stretches to the breaking point. When it breaks, the plane quickly disappears over the side and into the water. Training saves the pilot, who ejects immediately. This yellow...
中国の広州から成田に向かっていたフェデックスの定期貨物便の飛行機が強風のため着陸に失敗しましたこのため飛行機は炎上し現在消火活動が行われています成田空港の消防署に Thanks for watching on Discovery Encyclopedia. Subscribe for more videos like this. A Boeing 767 hits the waves at more than 200 miles per hour. Hijackers had forced the pilot to head for Australia, and now the jet has run out of fuel. The pilot attempts an emergency landing. The left wing of the 767 skims across the water, causing the plane to swing violently and break apart. Now, debris from the wreckage is strewn across miles of ocean.